Hello there, Karen Wolf here in the art studio. Um, I'm a painter and I teach you how to paint and become a better painter um, online so that you can be um, more confident and proud of your um, proud of your paintings. I am in the process of getting ready to show you how to paint um, hopefully uh, this cotton painting here. I'm going to turn down the heater a little bit. Sorry about that. Drying out my contacts. Um, show you how to paint this uh, cotton painting with a palette knife. So, um, let's see. So, for those of you who are uh, joining in here, if you'll just say hey when you jump on. And if you're watching the replay, say hey too. That's good. Because if you're watching the replay and you don't say anything, I don't know you've watched the replay. So I'm sorry about all this wiggly worm here. Wiggling around. Okay, I think you can see that. All right, good deal. Okay, so what we're doing here is I'm just going in and I'm painting my background. And I'm just painting with, um, painting with a palette knife. And I'm on here later this evening, and I do apologize for that. I'm usually on here at 7. But, you know, uh, sometimes <laughs> things are crazy in my world. And sometimes I just don't get to do things when I'm supposed to. So, I do them when I can. So, I hope you guys are... Having a good evening. I know, like I said, it's a little later, but hey, sometimes this is when people are just kind of hanging out uh, in the recliner, maybe, and maybe you need to be entertained and, uh, or, you know, put to sleep <laughs> by me painting. Um, it does me, it, it makes me, uh, hey, Fonda. It makes me sleepy to watch uh, painting, someone paint. If I'm ever, um, you know, need to go to sleep and I can't, all you have to do is watch a painting video. Okay, so this background, all this is, is the background is green and white. It's... Um, Hooker's green, white, and some blue. And what I'm doing, and I'm not even sure how it's going to turn out. This is it, this is just something that I came up with uh, here this evening. An idea. I was looking for that cow painting. I was going to paint a cow, and I couldn't find it. So I ran across this cotton painting. And I really like it. Um, it is actually one of my... Uh, free tutorials uh, that you can uh, grab the uh, template, tracer, supplies list, and all that. Um, and if you haven't done that yet, uh, just type in in the comments, just type in cotton, and I'll, I'll send that link out to you so you can get that freebie. Well, shoot, can't uh, dry the painting. If my hair dryer's not plugged in. So let me get that. Welcome, hello, there's Carolyn, Wendy, and Brenda. Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome. Okay, um, like I said, I'm just kind of winging this a little bit here this evening. I'm not, um, let's see, my flowers will be up here, my vase, and this is on a, a 12 by 16. And this is an 8 by 10. This is an 8 by 10 canvas. I'm just marking here. 
Okay. I think that'll work. Okay. All right. So I'm just, uh, like I said, I'm just doing this just kind of for fun. Just something to do on here with you guys and have fun and paint. <laughs> That's what we do, right? We just have fun and paint. Okay. So I'm just going to make like a, a gray color here with my blue and my brown. Just get a gray color. So if you all, um, if you like to paint, if you've painted with me before, um, you know, um, I just kind of get on here and um, just do some painting demonstrations and um, encourage people to paint. Like I said, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, and um, I teach you, teach folks how to paint online. I used to paint in my art studio. Um, well, this is my art studio. Over in town, I had one, but now I'm painting online. So, I, I teach virtually now. So, I'm just taking a gray color that I made with brown, white, and blue. And I'm painting in a shape of a vase. Just a indication of a vase. And I'm doing this with a palette knife. And um, I don't really paint with a palette knife a lot. I just really started doing it last year some. And I like it. So now I get on here from time to time and paint with a palette knife. So there. This painting was one that I came up with uh, the beginning of the... COVID fiasco. I was over in the art studio, had my painting parties over there, and did any of you all attend my painting parties that I had over in Ripley or Fair Plain? Um, and I had a Method Lions Club also. Did any of you all attend those? No, um, Fonda, definitely. Okay, so here's my vase shape. Okay, then I'm going to do some cotton. I enjoy teaching uh, the painting parties. It's fun. But um, with the way things were going with the COVID and stuff, um, I had to figure something else out. So here I am. So if you enjoy painting... and you want to learn how to paint, become a better painter, that's what I do. And I'm just painting in these cotton little uh, doodads. Little cotton, whatever they are. Anybody know anything about cotton? I don't. I'm guessing this is like is cotton like a, is this like the bloom? Put that there, there.
It's a little bit different painting with a palette knife, for sure. But this one's fun. This one's, um, th this one I painted with the brush. Um, like I said, this one, I did that. Um, I was actually a, uh, in-studio painting party, but the first painting, uh, that I did of that was online during the beginning of the COVID, uh, pandemic back in March, 2020. Um, I was in the art studio, uh, painting and having my painting parties and COVID hit and I had to shut the art studio down. So I started painting online and, uh, started doing the Facebook, uh, painting, which was weird for me because, um, I had never done that before. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so you just, sometimes life just gives you a deal and you just figure it out, don't you? So anyhow, did that and then, um, opened the studio back up and ran it for a while and then I actually I just closed it in July 2021 but here I am teaching online in my art studio and it's fun I enjoy it y'all like to paint do you all um if you've painted with me before I don't know if I've already said that but if you painted with me for before uh give me a shout out there let me know if you, this is your first time and you haven't, I'm just getting some white, put it on the tips, lightening up the tips of this cotton. We may have to do this one as a two part. I don't know if this will dry enough to do the stems and all that. We'll see. You might have to dry it with the hair dryer. But I do I enjoy painting. Love it, love it, love it. Love painting with you guys. You love the look of the palette knife. Uh, the palette knife, uh, Jennifer. I do too. Um, hey Sue, welcome. Jamie, hey you guys, appreciate you all jumping on. Um, yeah, the palette knife's fun. It uh, gives a texture that the brush does not. It it's a little little bit of a challenge to figure it out. You just touch on paint. And you can't be real picky. Can't be real picky with it. You just have to um, get it on there, get in, get out. Don't piddle around. So I'm making a little bit of a darker gray. I've got my light and my middle tone there. I'm making a little bit, did I say light? I'm making a little bit of a darker gray. That's one thing, it's funny. When you're online, uh, if you're bad to lose your train of thought, which I am, <laughs> it's hard to remember uh, whether you've said something before. Um, leastways for me. And it's funny. It's like, did I say that? Did I just say that? Did I say hi to you? <laughs> uh, hey, Jerry. Hello. Welcome. Um, but it's funny because I'll be like talking along and I'll say hi to somebody and then I'll say hi to them again and I'll be like, did I already say hi to you? I'm sorry. Okay, so I'm just, I'm going to have to turn this upside down and I apologize for that weirdness, but 
sometimes with the palette knife, uh, the angle's not right. And I'm just trying to get this dark, darker on the bottom on this cotton. And that's funny, another thing too I notice, um, I'm a talker. I will be the first to admit, I am a talker. Uh, but when I'm painting with a palette knife, not so much. I don't know why, but I just can't talk when I'm doing this. Um, and you just have to re just realize it's just not going to be perfect. Don't try to get it perfect. Don't do that because it's just not going to be. So, um, that is just part of it. I have a little empty spot right there and I'm not sure how that's going to roll. I may have to put something else there, but we'll see. Okay. Now I'm going to put the stems in. I'm going to go in with my brown. I am going to add just a smidge of blue to that. And all I have on here, and the yellow is on here because I was just trying to paint a flower a little bit ago before I, I came on here. But the only colors that I have on here are um, burn umber, uh, white, um, the green and the blue was the background color. Blue, green, and white was the background color. And don't pay any attention to the yellow. And then uh, brown uh, is what I'm getting ready to do the stems with. So, uh, yeah. I may need some more brown because I like that too much, I think. Um, so, I don't have a whole lot of colors. Which um, makes a painting easier to paint. When you don't have a lot of colors. Uh, when you don't use a lot of colors. You don't incorporate, you know, all the colors of the rainbow in your painting, it makes it easier uh, on you to paint. So, that's always, that's always good. Okay, so now I'm going to do the, the stems. I'm just picking up a little little bit of paint on the edge of the palette knife. Just a little row of paint. Thing. I should have done that first. Like I said, you know, give me some grace, guys. This is um, this is another one of those where I'm doing it on here. <laughs> I'm painting it on here, and uh, this is live, live action, live action. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna have to put one there. Okay. Which is fun. It's fun to do that. It's scary. I used to never do this. I used to always, um, always, always, always paint uh, whatever it was in advance. <laughs> hey, Patsy. I would always paint it in advance. How are you doing, miss? Uh, and then get on here and look and paint and all that. Um, so, I've gotten brave, haven't I? I've gotten brave over the years. I don't know. 
Maybe as we get older, we get more brave. Do we get brave? Or just stupid? <laughs> I'm not saying you guys are. I am. Maybe. Maybe not. Okay. So there's... It's getting away from me. Okay. So now we're going to do... I'm not going to fool around with that too much. I am going to put another cotton in there in that center, I think. Um, there's an empty spot there, and there's an empty spot there. <clears throat> so I think I'm going to do that. Oh, I got in the green. It's, this is actually, actually kind of fun. Um, but this painting is, um, it's a fun painting in, in, to paint it with a brush. Uh, so, like I said, if you're interested in that, if you haven't gotten the freebie uh, for the cotton painting yet, um, just in the comments, if you just put cotton, uh, you know, template, uh, something like that, I'll know what you're talking about, and I can put the information in there for you to get that. can see that. Sometimes I get in front of it and y'all can't see what I'm doing. Put an extra one over there. Just because. And I don't know anything about cotton, so I hope I mean it looks like it, I guess. Oh gosh. I got paint on my new shirt. Dang it. I'll have to remember to clean that off, won't I? Oh, I forgot to get dark down here in the bottom on this one. And light. Don't forget your ones down here on the bottom. And these little 8 by 10s are fun. Um, they go really quick. Um, you can get them um, done so, you know, so quick that, well, I say that, but, you know, we maybe have half the night here painting this thing. Not really. Hey, Miss Susan. Welcome. How are you doing? Good to see you. Okay, so then I'm going to go up here and put in these little uh, doodads, the little things on the edge. I have a painting workshop coming up, y'all. Interested in painting with me? Uh, spring painting. Gonna, I'm going to be painting it and posting it soon. The workshop uh, will be in March. Love, love, love the the workshops. They're like a like a three day hour and evening. It's not like all day. It's like an hour in the evening painting with me. And it's in a private Facebook group, and we just paint something, paint on something, and work on it together. And if 
three days of painting fun, three evenings for an hour. And the um, paint is thicker for, because you're putting it on thicker, for the Hella Knife painting. It's like a thicker. It takes longer. I'm just going into brown to do the first uh, go round, and then I'm going into the light brown with some white in it. soften that with a little bit of okay that's coming along And you can lighten up some of those uh, with the brown with a little bit of white in it. There we go. All right. And then to make um, your stuff, your flowers or your cotton. Um, hey, Dee, welcome make your cotton look like it's still in the jar. We'll have to close that in. We're gonna do some of these little thingies down here. has a little stem on it that you can see. I have a bad, well not a bad habit, I have a habit of blending with my finger and um, when you use a pellet knife, mmm, that doesn't work very well. <laughs> so, there you go. Don't do that. Okay, I am not sure how to get that with a palette knife, so I'm going to do that with a brush. I just really don't know that that is something that's going to happen with... Uh, a palette knife. So my theory is, is when you're painting with a palette knife, you don't have to paint the whole painting uh, with a palette knife. You can paint part of it if need be uh, with a brush. Because why, you know, Why would you not? Um, it's your painting. You can do whatever you want. 
so there. All right. Okay, I am liking that so far. I'm going to put a little bit of a light over here on the glass. Probably should have waited until that dried, but that's okay. Um, I'm liking that really, really well. This right up here is bothering me, though. Like it needs... um another cotton, but I think I'm going to try just flowers, and if that doesn't work, then I'll put in another one. I'll be posting the workshop uh, soon. So for those of you who are interested in that, that is exciting news. And that'll be coming up. And um, in March. March 14th is actually. Okay, so here I'm just going in and using that blue color that I had. I'm going to pounce it in with a bristle brush. Like I said, I'm not going to try to figure out how to do that with a palette knife, I'm pretty sure. That that would be difficult. I'm gonna put in these darker first. I want those a different color. There's a little bit different. Just a little bit more blue or something. some white soften those just a little that really really liking that and it's really kind of a monotone uh, painting it's meant to be that way so um, that is um, why you know it's all kind of blues and greens and grays looking
This I'm just going in and adding a little, little bit more dark down in the bottom of my cotton. So we'll show up more. I'm liking it. Are y'all liking it so far? Y'all think it's... Hey, Crystal. Y'all liking it so far? Or up to this point? Not so far. I guess it's almost done. Putting some white on top of some of the uh, cotton to kind of pop it out a little bit and on some of those that I missed. back into the white and just popping in some bright white out here at the very tip of those. Yes. Okay, there we go. Cotton in a vase with a palette knife. Who knew? I honestly didn't think I was gonna be able to pull that off, but um, I just had to try it. <laughs> and the reason I say that is, is just because um, it uh, it's just a little bit different painting with a palette knife. Just a little bit different. And it worked. 2022. There we go. All right. Fun times. You guys will have to try that. It's fun. It's fun. Painting, painting, painting is fun. I'm telling you. Painting is therapy. Painting is fun. And I can teach you and show you how. I promise. All right. Um, that is what we did this evening. Palette knife painting is a little bit different than um, <clears throat> the brush for sure. Um, you've got two different looks here completely. You've got a smooth brush painting and the uh, texture palette knife painting. So, you should definitely give it a try. I enjoyed it completely. And enjoyed painting with you guys. You guys are great. Um, all right. So, there you go. Uh, once again, if you want that um, for the 12 by 16, if you want that template, um, video supplies list template, just type in or type in. Uh, well, whatever. <laughs> put cotton or template or um, whatever in the comments and I'll know what you're talking about and I'll send it right to you uh, or I won't send it to you. I'll give you the information that you need to get there to um, to paint it. So it's a good one. It's a fun one and it's a really pretty painting. So um, and not difficult. It's one of the more easy ones. So um, you won't be intimidated by that. So y'all have a great evening. Appreciate you guys. Love you. God bless you. Take care. And I'll see you back on, he on here again uh, real soon. And we'll paint something else or we'll talk about painting. Thank you. Bye-bye.